What's up guys? This is Daniel here at Blue Collar Training. Today I am going to talk about protein. Uh, what kind of protein I recommend for beginners or anyone really. So this idea kind of came to me because I constantly get the question by coworkers, friends, people at the gym, what supplements do you take? What brands, you know, flavors, what do you recommend for this and that, blah, blah, blah. So I kind of want to get into it. Oops. But before I get into any of that, I am not a nutritionist. I'm not, well, I'm not a certified personal trainer, but I train people. Uh, I've been training since I was like 14, so like 10 years. Um, I've, I would say I really know what I've been doing, doing for like six, um, knowing my body and this and that. Uh, I don't really, I don't have any technical qualifications, degrees, whatever people want to see doctor or not doctor, none of that. I'm just a gym rat, average guy, you know, working class dude. And I happen to go to the gym a lot and it's my hobby and I really enjoy it. And when it comes to supplements, I have taken an, probably an obscene amount of different supplements, proteins, amino acids, creatine, pre-workouts, you name it, I've probably tried it. Uh, especially during my, you know, teenage years and young, I would say like between 20 to like 22-ish. That's when I really was just digging and digging and seeing what was best. But anyway, uh, this is the protein that I recommend to pretty much everybody because most, well, the people that ask me what kind of supplements I take, they're usually like beginner and intermediate um, they're not really advanced because, you know, the, the advanced lifters kind of already know what to take unless I get that question sometimes from, you know, the advanced lifters just because they want to try something new, but I'll still recommend even to the advanced lifters, which I get every now and again, very rarely, but they're mostly my friends anyway. Um, I'll still recommend this brand and this type of protein actually. So I'm just going to get into it. This is it right here. Um, some of you, maybe some of you have tried it before. I absolutely love it. This is my personal favorite protein. That's why I recommend it. You see it. It is Dimatize ISO 100 Hydrolyze. The regular, pro, the regular ISO 100 is good too. Um, I let, love Hydrolyze because of how quickly it digests. I, I digest in like a fourth of the time that regular whey digests. And this flavor cinnamon bun is actually the first time I got it. And it's really good. It's actually amazing. If you like cinnamon, I think you'll really enjoy this protein. Um, I usually get Dreamsicle because I love Dreamsicle flavor and it's like amazing. What else to describe it. It's really good. It's delicious. But I like this because I will tell you why. It has really good macros. Um, and by macros, I mean like fat, carbs, protein. So I'll just kind of dive right into it. It has 120 calories per scoop. And it has zero grams of fat. Uh, 160 grams of, or milligrams, I'm sorry, of sodium. If you guys care about that potassium 100 milligrams which is pretty good pretty good for protein um, carbs two grams very good um, the sugars it has a little bit technically the two grams is mostly sugar but it's only a little more it says if you look at it it says sugars a little bit more than one gram protein 25 grams of pure hydrolyzed protein isolate. And then on top of that, 
if you, so you know it's a good protein, something, something to look for if you're looking at other proteins, whatever. Something to really look for is go on the serving sizes and the nutrition facts. It says one scoop and then it was having little parentheses. So this one, it says one scoop, 31 grams. So what that means is 25 of those 31 grams is protein. Two of those 31 grams is carbs. And then the rest is everything else that they added to the protein, which is very good. Because on some cheaper proteins, you'll see, um, for example, if it says one scoop 50 grams, but the protein content of those 50 grams is only 25 grams of carbs, then the rest is gonna be carbs, fats, and other stuff, which is probably not great, unless you're like bulking, but that's a whole nother video. <clears throat> and then on top of that, if you look in the ingredients, it has very little ingredients, which is good. Um, and also all the ingredients you can pronounce for the most part. And it's most, and it has stevia, it has some sucralose, but I mean, it's your choice whether you're going to care if, if it has sucralose or not. I personally don't, I don't think it does anything. And stevia, which I like stevia, I use it constantly in my own meal and stuff like that. <clears throat> But um, I would, I always recommend this because it is to me the most well-rounded protein that I have tried. Um, I've tried a couple others that I really liked too. And like Optimum Nutrition. Well, I like their old formula. They kind of changed it lately. And I don't know, just weird. I'm not really, they added more carbs and more stuff. And I just don't like it. Um, ISO 100 has been extremely consistent. They, oh, on top of that, I should mention, it has 73 scoops or 73 servings per five pounds. So I bought this one, I bought this particular one on Amazon and it's kind of weird because, well, you can get this other places like bodybuilding.com, other supplement stores, whatever. Um, but on Amazon, it's kind of interesting because if you go on there, they actually, you can click on the, on what flavor you want. And some of their flavors, depending on who's selling it, because the top, you can go by like price, whatever, whoever you want to go through. But depending on the flavor, it can change prices, which is kind of weird, but I don't know. That's capitalism. So I got this one for, I actually chose this one because it was like, it was 53 bucks and that's like hard to beat. So it was like $10 per pound of weight. And I think it was, it came out to like 67 cents per serving, which is like super cheap. I mean, this is gonna last a while. So 53 bucks for five pounds of protein, delicious protein. Hydrolyzed protein, it's really good. But at first I was just kind of like skeptical of it because because of the different prices that I had. So like, for example, this one was $53. Um, the Dream Circle one that I usually get was 56. I thought that was kind of weird. And then there was another more popular flavor. I think it was cookies and cream or something like that. And it was like 74, I don't know why but it was the exact same pounds, basically the exact same product, the only difference was the flavor. I don't know why the price is different. I don't know. I got this one, I was not disappointed. Um, the flavor, you're probably not gonna get disappointed. It's, it's hard to go wrong with these, these ones. Um, so yeah, I mean, if you wanna go Amazon route, you can. Just, I would just check the different flavors if I were you. Get the best bang for your buck. If you liked the video, like. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. If you didn't like it, dislike it. I wanted to do this video because I wanted to spare a lot of, like I said, beginner lifters, a, a lot of, uh, you know, full time wasted on different proteins, or maybe you buy a protein that's not actually good. And 
not like the best quality because I know I've been there and it sucks and I wish somebody told me earlier. So hopefully this helps somebody. I'm out.